going on? Don't flop all fucking day. We are here, the Ritz Manchester, battle number one of five. Manchester versus London. One time, if you're in a building, make some noise! Yes! Don't flop all fucking day. You know the score is your boy, uh, as always. Hit me on Twitter, at Twitter. You want to holler me any other way, all my links are on the screen right about now. This is Manchester versus London. We are here in the Ritz, the first time we've ever been in this venue. Big up all the staff for having us out. We got fucking hundreds of crowd in the place. It's going to be nuts. Only five battles on the card today. No further ado, let's get straight into battle number one. MC on my right hand side from Manchester representing. Make some noise for Sean O'Malley! Big up Pete Obsolete on the glasses. Yes. And on the left hand side from London, representing, make some noise for my fucking dude, Big J! Yes. You want to contact Don't Flop, every link you need is on the screen right now. It's don'tflopshop.com if you like the gums. Every other link, as I said, is on the screen right now. Okay, we chose off camera, and who's going first? Big J? All right, my brother. First battle of the Yo. day, first round of the day. Manchester Yo. versus London is on Big J. Let's go. Yo. Now when this battle got confirmed, I got an inbox from Censor <laughs> telling me you're racist. Back of the line is where your place is. You said you hate all black people and Asians, but now they're all here, why don't you say it to their faces? Because he said if it was back in the day, fuck the slaves, grab them mate and start happy slapping. He even said if Er weren't a dope flop boss, he would have beat him up while he was out packy bashing. <laughs> So now you're coming up against a white brother who's not racist. You're about to get parred off stage and you ain't winning shit now because them first couple bars just fucked up your chance, mate. Because right now, it's Big J. Mr. Finisher battled and start writing for the next one the same day. <laughs> See, it shouldn't matter if they're black or white. Being racist is a loose thought. Because if there was a big hill, and at the top, everyone got to punch one black dude true talk, then he'll slide to the top like a moonwalk. <laughs> My interviews have got more views than all of your battles do. That's fucking whack. I'm helping you get known right now like I just did with Danny Jack. Oh, what the fuck? Because if it weren't... <laughs> Because if it weren't for my name in the title, no one would be clicking to watch a battle with Sean no Max. I'll be surprised if you haven't come with three solid rounds thanking me for that. Because you try to smoke a big J, well, today you chose the wrong one. Because I've got too many angles coming at you like, boom, 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 boom. You don't know what's going on, son. <laughs> and that bar right there was shit. And, and I had no reason to do it. I don't know why I said it. Mainly, I said it so Body Bagno and Bamalam can make it look sick from different angles in the edit. <laughs> Bro. Now, I've lost quite a lot. Don't, don't grin, bruv. It's nothing to laugh about. My mummy said it's not about winning or losing. It's about taking part that counts. My boys, they say fuck winning or losing, it's picking parts that counts. Picking parts of your body parts stretched. Cause parts of your body getting picked apart till death. And after I picked apart, your body parts apart, I've only got to catch the body that's left. Now let me quickly go back to this basic shit, you racist prick. He said to me, so what if I'm racist? Who cares? You can never fuck with my lyrics. He only bought a packet of minstrels cause he thought there was a gollywog in it. Bruv, hey, come here, man. Come here, man. Your dad plays football in flip flops. <laughs> You're so racist, he looks in the mirror and shouts, White power! Fuck the nignogs. <laughs> now, this other shit, racist shit he said, he said it, not me. The other racist shit he said, trust me, man, it's still hurting. He said, Bring back slavery just to get them little fuckers working. Also, he was, it's bad, isn't it? It's bad. Censor told me all of this shit. <laughs> also, also, he was drunk at an event. Tried to deny the messages he sent. He admitted them in the end, but I had to push him. Meet me after round the back and I'll tell you what he said about Muslims. <laughs> we ready? Yo, Big J's already thinking this is going to be a good show. Because he's got support from his bearded twin brother in the front row. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Yo, 
Come on. Big Jen, you look like a blimp, mate. Just because you're round doesn't mean that you're in shape. It just seems like you're in flake. As far as this battle was to me, it's a piss take. Because when I found out it was you, if I've got to be honest, that shit had me walking up walls like the evil old chicken off Wallace and Gromit had a free running kid off a of quantum of solace. I should have just planned to let a free kill this bitch like it was horrible bosses, but I know that I've taken some horrible losses, so you might actually think he'll pick up the win and he'll take this. You know, he's entered Ritz on the stage with some lyrics displayed against somebody shit he was facing, but as soon as you take one step into that matrix and quickly I'm shape-shifting into an agent kicking your face in. There's no phone ringing, he's waiting and wishing and praying, but next time you walk into a station or jump on a track, it'll be when they're bringing a train in. Yo! Yo! He's the size of three. He can't be the one. There's no way this kid is escaping. And T5s are the only pills you should ever be giving this pagan. Yo, you, you couldn't beat HK on your A game. Come on, face it, you whack as shit. You're the only person in a whole league ranked below Fantastic. I mean. <laughs> Even with three straight rounds laid down, you'd get done off by two bars of freestyle by any one of them kids having a battle in the playground. I mean, I know being the underdog against Big J is kind of bad. Guys thinking Shauna just won't murk him. You obviously put this pussy on a pedestal like a 40-year-old virgin. <laughs> Yo, none of the L London team are going to pick up a winning money, mate, because I'm turned up with four people set to decapitate like the fucking Beatles of the Islamic State. The only difference is we're still going to let you see it on the camera, mate. <laughs> Don't be sleeping on me like a difficult decision. You won't just think he's been beat, man. You think I fucking killed him. I'm like a, a winter solstice when I'm writing bars because I bring the decline to a rising star. Now, no one get it? No? But, uh, yo, he thinks he's a lad because he got a couple matches on Tinder. Turns out he got two. His mum and his sister. <laughs> Time. Uh, yo, now a while back, you messaged me and asked me to say happy birthday to your girl who's a big fan. Now my first thoughts, who the fuck is this div fam? Second thoughts, let me congratulate her on a big day. Hi, it's me, the loopy Caucasian. She replied and I instantly knew that she was part of the Big J Groupie Foundation. <laughs> See, she wanted to link me on a quick ting at the service station off of Junction 12. <laughs> Suck my dick so good I knew she could function well. But I'm only doing this round just to tell my girl because I'm scared to say it to her face because I don't think she'll take, take this quite well. But I fucked your chick after she inboxed me and shit. But don't worry, it was a quick fuck. There was no spark. I'm only telling you because you're cool. But for real, she can blow fast. You need to speak to your girl, blood, because she's trying to get in next man's boxes. And you love her and never want to be a part, but she's like Instagram because I gave the bitch two taps and she's already shown me her heart. <laughs> now... Now your butters bitch is not a hottie. I've only come here today to meet Shotty. What's up, man? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, I'm Big J. <laughs> now there's something else I want to tell you about his chick. She's disabled as shit. <laughs> See, when I met her at the service station, I wanted to murk man quick, because she rolled up to me with no legs and an electric chair blazing out German whip. <laughs> Yo. And after the sex and ting, I asked her, what's she up to later? She said, I'm going out to get bladdered. I told her to carry on sucking my dick, because to be honest, the answer to that question never really mattered. And after she left, that's when it hit me. Well, I was eating my MACD's breakfast. How could she go out and get legless when she's already legless? <laughs> See, I don't care if you get the win today, because to me, you're still pathetic. I don't care how many times you tell me your girl's legs are real. I, for one, know they're prosthetic. <laughs> See, I don't give a fuck how you feel. Don't try to tell me your girl's legs are real. He shouldn't steal, because I bet she's the same size as Bloodstraw's mum and she's standing on a pair of wooden stilts. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Standing on a pair of wooden stilts. See, you can't beat me, blood. You're lost, son. She wears trainers and rolls around the block, cuz. Now, I'm only pulling your leg. <laughs> Shame she ain't got none. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
See, your no-legged butters, disabled bitch is not a keeper. I would happily put that stupid slut in a sleeper. I think I've won this battle. So I'ma kick back, relax, and take a breather. And she's like you in this battle because you ain't got a fucking leg to stand on either. Time. When did Al Murray start to act gully? <laughs> but yo, I heard you left your bird so you could move in with your hoover. See, that's the type of intelligence you're using with your humour. You're a cancer in this league. I'm removal of the tumour slash student moving past the tutor. I'm sick and tired of checking don't flock and seeing this stupid fat old loser. I wish I could block his existence from my browser when I'm using my computer like some kind of fat bastard YouTube ad remover. I mean, I know he's got a following online. I see him getting tweets from user after user, but the last time he got a follower, he was Stewie with a tuba. Yo. <laughs> But even with a 140 character limit, he ain't on the level of Sean and Mac when I'm spitting. I don't even need to stretch it out to show you that I'm accurate with it. I'm straight to the point. There's some archery lyrics, and it's a fact you've been getting away with cheap jobs for ages. So I think it's about time I gave it a go. Your mum is a prostitute with a ginger afro. Her nickname's Orange Pay As You Go. <laughs> but yo, I heard a fucking pussy is huge and it spans acres. I mean, the size of that poon's a damn shame. When she's on a period and tries to use a pad, mate, it looks like Superman's cape blowing round in Bruce's back cave. <laughs> I won't go near that bitch, cos her pubes are just horrible, her pussy smells worse than food from the hospital, and it's always a guy hanging out the back when they're running a train like the movie Unstoppable. But yo, I heard you lost a bit of weight. In like 2010, <laughs> looking at you now, I'd say you found it again. <laughs> hey, hey, you know that going on a diet is probably your best move when your belt don't buckle but your legs do, and you're so fucking fat, you got pound coins in your right pocket and euros in your left, dude. I mean, you are one fat, fat fucker, looking like your dad's Jack Duckworth and your mum's Pat Butcher. <laughs> Some big old titties at lactate. I bet that's what your nan takes on a bran flakes. Yo! Yo, I heard you got banned from the arcade because you kept having to fucking insulate the wires with dark tape because you was chopping them trying to figure out how to get in the Wreck It Ralph car game. Let's be optimistic though. You could be obese if you lost a fucking, if you was a couple of stone thinner. I mean, you're the type of guy to brush his teeth with chicken drumsticks and shit out a roast dinner. I mean, I know I shouldn't be too tough on his weight. It's obvious, he's got enough on his plate. I mean... <laughs> hey, hey, this just feels like a massive waste of line on his massive waistline. I've called him fat like eight times. He stood there thinking, tell me something I don't know. Salad tastes nice. <laughs> You just rub my tits, that's the only tits you'll ever get to touch. And you are fucking whack. Two rounds about being fat. Look at your glasses. <laughs> Big K is fat. <laughs> now when Earth set this inbox up and it got confirmed, I got a phone call from Bamalam, Famalam. And he told me that he heard that your mum's deaf and she walked out on you as a kid. Now that's fine. But she's deaf, so you're stupid because you should have seen the signs. See, you're much older now. See, you're much older now. Oh, thank you very much, brother. <laughs> See, you're much older now. And she's back in your life. But she's still deaf. And she'll still walk out and leave you. And you've took after her because you're boring as fuck and you ain't got nothing to talk about either. Because you ain't going to beat me, bro. How are you a winner? when you have to throw up gang signs when asking your mum for dinner. <laughs> See, I'm on this battle shit, cuz. I'm a rider, it's true. When you and your mum have conversations together, it's like watching a back-to-back -back cipher on mute. <laughs> See, this ain't fair. <laughs> See, this battle ain't fair, but I've got a torture. I just think it's proper funny that your mum can only watch telly at 4am when there's a little man in the bottom corner. <laughs> See, I'm beating this guy like it's fun. I'm killing his vibe. I'm the one. Big J, I'm the best. 
You're done. And if the judges give you the decision, they must be deaf, like your mum. <laughs> so you just sit and wait for your opportunities to come to you. That's why there's no heart when you spit a verse. So take your mum's advice, because even she knows more than anyone that actions speak louder than words. Because she's deaf. <laughs> So listen, so listen, Mr. Sure No Mac. You can never spit a row like that. When your mum speaks to you, she sounds like that. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. Fucking, oh, fuck. What was it? Um. I just told his mum to go fuck herself. <laughs> no, I'm joking, man. Big problem. Kick head! <laughs> In your battle with Toucan, there was one part that I liked. And it wasn't you struggling to take your t-shirt off one arm at a time. It was when you said, it was a bitch who deserved no respect like DK. Just trying to be unnecessarily harsh in your lines. And then the next round, he choked and forgot half of his rhymes. Have you seen his face change quicker than fucking stars in her eyes? And I bet you wish you could have travelled backwards in time like Marty McFly because she said, who's the bitch now? You nearly started to cry. <laughs> you were staring at the floors as tears filled the bottom half of your eyes. And in part of your mind, you're thinking, nah, man, she's right because she can freestyle better fucking bars than her right. But yo, you're the you know what? I'd bet money on the damn fact that Westwood is your granddad. I mean, stop talking like a fucking G. You ain't warring in the London streets and drawing things to clutch and squeeze. I bet your mum gives you a saucer for your cup of tea with bourbons and some custard creams assorted on them underneath and talks you dead fucking sweet. I mean, you got me wondering why I'm wasting my time with these rejects. I mean, after raise the bar, I thought I'd be climbing up three steps. I mean, it was Bizzo, a battle that I won with a line that I freed yet with T Kid. To be real, I can't deny I got beat, yes, but. I never showed a single sign that I declined or had regressed from my mind just thinking I shouldn't be stressed. I mean, the viewers online I haven't seen yet, but they have now when I'm here in a battle that I'm worried is going to be uploaded as TJ versus Mikey from Recess. I mean... <laughs> but you know what's actually funny? When you think you're deep, when your penning flows, stop it. You have no perception of depth like your vision ain't stereoscopic. That's why it's inbox from sensor then. Any old topic. <laughs> You're not gonna pick up the win today no by trying to force rumours, because I'm more ruthless. You're only here to die on cam like George Lucas's stormtroopers. <laughs> yo, this is a thinking cap versus Dunce's cap. You need a fitness class and a Zumba class. You need to start fucking swimming laps and jumping jacks to trim your abs and stomach clad, because to put it pretty obvious, you're big and fat, you southern twat. <laughs> Yo, I... You want purple Aki to hurt your body and make you hit higher notes than Shirley Bassey. Yo, because he's a faggot. We are on the same wave wavelength, like sound and vision. He's never seen his dad from the waist up, like cow and chicken. But yo, um, time, time, time. Make some noise, let's go.